Today, I want to talk about how Roaring Kitty has once again returned and purchased even more call options and even more shares as well. I also want to talk about the alarming increase in AMC and GameStop ETF short positions of over 100% in just one day. So stay tuned and let's make some money. Now, obviously, the headband and the sweatbands aren't my thing, but I thought it would make for a funny intro. And as you can see, Roaring Kitty has once again tweeted a new photo as of the 6th of September 2024. Also, remember the Labor Day sale at the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group is still on. Just use code Labor Day, all as one word, all in capitals, at checkout for $100 off the price of the lifetime membership or 25% off the monthly membership. We can see here Andy from Toy Story is throwing away Woody, which has the dog Twitter emoji and the eyes emoji attached as well. Now, before I break down what this photo means, I also wanted to go through this tweet from Unusual Wales. Now, Unusual Wales tweeted saying that Roaring Kitty has posted this picture after not tweeting for two months. Literally just before it, someone bought $2 million worth of GameStop calls. We can see someone bought 10,000 call options for the GameStop $22.5 calls expiring the 13th of September. Now the Bronx Viking was one of the first to notice this, seeing tons and tons of round 5,000 option lots being purchased all at once. Roaring Kitty in the past bought his options in these round 5,000 option lots and could potentially have already exercised them and transferred them into shares. Not long after these 5,000 round lots showed up, or the options being purchased, we saw the options disappearing again later in the day, maybe being exercised or maybe sold off for a profit, and maybe with that profit, more shares were purchased. By the way, Just the Bronk has explained what this tweet from Roaring Kitty likely means, especially when he's previously tweeted a photo or a tweet of this Twitter dog emoji beforehand. The previous tweet had a Twitter dog emoji with the eyes attached but with the eyes facing to the right instead of the default way where the eyes are facing to the left. Many are speculating we're still in this emoji timeline, having seen the dog emoji and now having seen the eyes properly going to the left instead of going to the right. Obviously, as I just touched on, the first tweet from Roaring Kitty had the eyes this time going to the right, but this tweet that he tweeted on Friday has the eyes properly going to the left. So obviously eyes to the right with the dog emoji, eyes to the left now leaves us potentially with just the fire and the explosion and the cheers emojis to go. Or potentially we've seen the eyes to the right and now seen the eyes to the left. So maybe the next emoji to go is the American flag, which could even be the election. And then further emojis later in the future. Either way, it seems we're still well within this timeline and should soon expect the explosion. Now, as I touched on this account, Love GameStop also tweeted this screenshot of the XRT ETF short interest. Now the XRT ETF is something I've touched on a few times on the channel before because ETFs can be shorted as much as possible. With usual stocks, stocks can only have the float shorted 100% of the float, sometimes 140% of the float if some shares are lent out and rehypothecated to a maximum of 140%. But with ETFs, that regulation SHO doesn't apply, so ETFs can be shorted over 700% of the float, or the full float of an ETF can be shorted seven times over. That's exactly what we're seeing with the XRT ETF, which has a 3 million share float and 23 million shares shorted. An extra 3.7 million shares were shorted in just the last month, so an extra float was shorted in just a month. That also saw an increase of 53.96% actually in just one singular day, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now again, the reason why these shorts short ETFs is because by shorting all of the shares inside an ETF, but buying other stocks inside the ETF, not including GameStop and AMC, they can effectively push these other stocks up and push AMC and GameStop down. And that's because they're gaining short exposure to all of the stocks in the ETF and then evening off the short exposure on the other stocks by buying shares, just leaving indirect short exposure on GameStop and AMC. 
And that's seven floats worth of this ETF in indirect short exposure on AMC GameStop. And again, the shorts are doing the same thing to many other ETFs too. I think it will be very interesting to see what unfolds over the next 24 hours as 24 hour trading and the pre-market opens up for both AMC and GameStop. I wonder how many shares of GameStop are going to be bought in the pre-market and if we'll see another price explosion on AMC and GameStop in the pre-market like we saw back in May when Roaring Kitty first returned. I also wanted to go through Friday's 76% gain on BLMZ Blooms Incorporated. So in the pre-market, I told the group that BLMZ had released news last night and it set a pre-market high of $1.59 and that I was setting my price alerts to buy that breakout above $1.59. And we can see when the market opened, BLMZ got that breakout above 159 and ran all the way to $2.80. AV bought in at 181 and scaled out his final profits at the very tippy top for a total gain of over $600, basically paying for his entire lifetime membership in just one trade. Zach also said that BLMZ was great for him taking a quick scalp and making over 10% in two separate trading accounts. So guys, be sure to join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group using the link in the description below and remembering that Labor Day discount code. We've also received an additional update on the NWBO lawsuit, which is Northwest Biotherapeutics, which is currently in court suing Citadel. And it was just uncovered that they found 3,000 alerts of spoofing and illegal trading on NWBO, which was actually ignored by the market makers and trading platforms. Bigham's added saying, imagine what they'd find if they looked into Goldman Sachs and their spoofing of AMC and other stocks like GameStop. The lawsuit says on or about April 12th, 2024, CIBC, the market maker, produced a spreadsheet containing 3,112 smarts alerts that were triggered by CIBC's own self-alert flagging system that flags potentially manipulative and deceptive trading activity in the Concordia stock. But of those 3,112 smarts alerts, 2,940 alerts of those came from a single client which were all ignored as false positives. CIBC, the market maker, performed no additional inquiries or any further investigation because Concordia was an interlisted stock. The lawsuit also then digs deeper and explained how this hedge fund actually decreased the price of Concordia's stock illegally. The hedge fund clients placed baiting orders to sell Concordia shares on a different stock exchange, the Canadian Stock Exchange, using the CIBC's market maker DMA pipe or trading venue. That then decreased the price of Concordia stock and that hedge fund client took advantage of that artificial price reduction by buying shares at a lower value. So they effectively fake sold shares on a different stock exchange which actually caused a real drop in the actual US price of that stock. So this is just another way these hedge funds forcefully decrease the price of the stock and actually in this instance they've done it without even creating synthetic shares. They've just placed some overseas spoof orders and then retracted those orders still decreasing the actual price due to fear, uncertainty and doubt. But finally for today, Robert has posted this screenshot of just how in trouble the hedge funds are and what they're actually using to meet margin requirements. So from the Office of Financial Research, they found that of the $5.4 trillion in margin collateral posted, it consisted of just 32% cash collateral and 62, nearly 63% securities collateral. Basically, these hedge funds are using stocks as collateral for other stocks and margin positions. But obviously, what happens when the value of these securities, like when the value of their shares in NVIDIA, decrease? Obviously, the value of these securities or the value of these shares decrease, but also the value of their collateral decreases alongside. That could happen in the event that NVIDIA decreases by, say, 10%, like it did literally over the last week. And obviously, when the value of these securities and when the value of their collateral decreases, 
they're going to fail to meet those margin requirements and be margin called. Even the Office of Financial Research said it themselves, they said declines in collateral and asset values can indeed lead to margin calls. Which is effectively all we're waiting for right now is for the decrease in these asset values to decrease their collateral posted to cause margin calls. So guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.